Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, there's a couple things I wanted to talk about. I'm also going to be doing the charms grind and stuff like that. For those of you who don't know, if you do all four of the camo challenges, you get the charm. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to finish it, but it's giving me something to do in the meantime until Black Ops 6 comes out. We currently have 42 days until Black Ops 6 comes out, and I'm going to be grinding that shit. There's going to be videos coming out on the camo grind. We're going to do zombies. I don't know if I'll do Warzone. I might. Um, I never really play Warzone. But I'm, this might convince me to give it some sort of a try. And we're supposed to be getting a new Call of Duty season in about a week's time. I think it's the it'll be like season six, I think it is. So then we'll be able to finally have our final season of the game as well as we'll have the new levels coming out. And I'm not gonna lie, it's like half the reason I'm still playing is because levels 1051 through like 1250 are like silver and black bats which look really clean, I think. And I just wanted to discuss a couple things going from this game into Black Ops 6. I've already given my thoughts on the beta, but I kind of wanted to give my thoughts going from this game to Black Ops 6 and kind of why I think Black Ops 6 is going to do so well. There's also some other updates going out around, which I'll touch on later, but going from this game to Black Ops 6, I will say that my biggest thing is obviously the movement. I mean, if you're not saying that the movement is going to be the biggest change, then I, I don't know why you wouldn't say that the next highest thing could be the ttk considering this is a one health 150 health call of duty and we're going to be playing in a 100 health cod in like less than a couple months yeah the movement is by far the thing that is like freaking me out the most i can already feel myself trying to go back to canceling my movement like i would in the beta which is because we have the sideways sprint i couldn't move my stick side to side to cancel my movement so i had to adjust it and now i'm changing my movement back to moving sideways to cancel my sprint and it's really weird it's like i didn't fully adjust so the game doesn't feel as unnatural to me i only played 20 hours in four or five days so you know we'll see how how what happens when the beta comes out or not the beta sorry when the full game comes out but i know for a fact i am very excited very very much looking forward to the camo grind and another thing i'm definitely going to be noticing is the health change a lot of these kills that i'm getting they will probably still be possible but some of the times that i get killed may also not be possible so just because of the, the amount of health we go from 150 to 100 health and a lot of people are not fans of it i am but i know a lot of people are not also we've seen some information about the fact that we will not be getting a early access to the campaign and that is deterring a lot of people from playing it however for myself i'm still gonna be playing it i don't have an issue with, with it coming out fully on time I actually really do enjoy the Call of Duty campaigns, so I'll be playing that. And falling behind on the camo grind is going to be pretty annoying, not going to lie, but I'm either going to do the campaign in a month or I'm going to do it now. I might as well do it now, get it out the way, and then play, you know, multiplayer whenever I'm done with that. So, the four years of development, I'm expecting a fully fledged and ready to go campaign. Because if we don't get that, then I'm going to be very, like, disappointed to say the least because the black ops campaigns have typically been pretty good but that doesn't mean that like this one's gonna be good i mean it better it's got four fucking years of development now are they spending all that time on the campaign obviously not but they better be spending a good amount of time on it like i never did ask what are you guys most excited for in the full game i am most excited for actually the prestige system we finally have like, a regular prestige system we're finally gonna have you know these things that it's just when things get changed when they shouldn't and then they get changed back i get very happy because i like to believe there's an extent of what is happening that they realize oh we shouldn't be changing certain things and i feel like one of the things that's a no-brainer don't change it is the prestige system dang you ads fast as shit switch to the haymaker i guess this fucking 60 round this is this thing fully auto or is this burst it's burst okay damn no dude those fucking dual shotguns are insane dude the fact this thing is is this thing fuck i swear this this maglift kit used to be fully auto they change it to a burst like am i stupid to think that yeah i swear this used to be fully auto either way i mean like i said I, i'll probably only get the ars and the smgs done i probably won't get anything else done beyond that oh i just got shit on the ronald ray gun god damn it damn i had 63 63 and 57 jeez but yeah with no early access to the campaign i'm curious to know how many people are gonna play it now, I honestly am not surprised that, that they don't want to put this on early access. People did pretty much nothing but shit on the campaign for Modern Warfare 3. But I feel like they got to understand this campaign was not finished. 
This was literally an add-on to Modern Warfare 2. The we all the weapons are here, the camo challenges, your operators transferred, like, this was not a fully-fledged Call of Duty title. This was quite literally a DLC, and I don't think anyone is gonna argue with me against that. If people are gonna argue against me with that, I'm curious to know their reasoning. Because I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those people that was like, I was gonna sit there and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna argue, like, I don't really feel like this, you know like a DLC, I feel like this is a full game, blah 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 blah. And I just don't see how that's possible. Because with a DLC, you get small additions. You don't get brand new games. We got brought back maps from Modern Warfare 2. We got new weapons, including the old ones. We got all the new game modes, but we do get that every year. Your operator is transferred over. This just sounds like a DLC that I would find inside a game like Destiny. And considering someone who's played over 2,000 hours in the combined games, I feel like I have a right to say that. I feel like I have a right to be like, yeah, this could probably be like a DLC for a game. I will also say that Black Ops 6 is what this game should have been to an extent. This game is, you know, we should have gotten this probably, they, like, they feel like they want to stick to the two-year model. And then at the last minute, they're like, no, we can do a giant cash grab for Modern Warfare 3. And because of that, I feel like they kind of, I don't want to say they lost people's trust, but they definitely made it much harder to believe they're going to produce something that, you know, is going to be worth it. Oh my god. Some of my first name didn't hit for shit. Is this guy shooting my body or is he shooting my trophy? I swear, he better not be shooting my fucking body. I've done jack shit. Oh my god. I'm dead, aren't I? I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm alive. Oh my god, there's two up top. I thought there was just one. I just apologize if I sound a bit out of energy. It is literally 11 at night, and I realized that I didn't have a video for the weekend. So I'm trying to uh, kind of pre-record so this can get edited and sent out. Damn it. See, I'm I'm jumping out and trying to do Omni movement, when in reality, that's not the case. That's not what I should be doing. Dude, wait. A, tr a trophy system is what killed me? The trophy system did 149 damage? Yeah, fucking right. Also, I've noticed we're not on, like, 150. Uh, I just realized, like, just now, every time I die, it says 149 instead of 150. Now, I probably just, you know, am blind, but I don't know. Overall, with Black Ops 6, I am very hopeful. At first, I was a bit skeptical of the game because we haven't received a solid Call of Duty title in quite a while. I heard nothing but complaints really about Vanguard, and on top of that, I really think we could have had something great in this game if they took the time to develop it instead of just going for a last minute cash grab. Oh my god, how many of these motherfuckers are gonna be there? Holy shit! Yeah, I don't know what I did to deserve to be in this fucking lobby. I'm backing out, fuck that. I'm not finishing that game. There was one more piece of media that I forgot. I wanted to talk about and I forget what the fuck fuck it was oh yeah the amount of fucking this is probably something this is something i know a lot of content creators have already covered but i i wanted to give my two cents and i actually watched jeb's video earlier today on it holy shit that was loud what the fuck i almost don't want to play in, i'm not playing this one either i'm not playing with someone who's gonna make my fucking ears die at 11 30 at fucking night but the amount of shipments coming next season are kind of insane. Hold on. So yeah, if you go and get the image for season six the, with the haunting and everything, we're gonna have Michael Myers. They have Arena shipment, Stay High, Bitment, Ghost Ship, and Sunny shipment. They have five shipment variants coming to the game. Dude, can I not join a match in progress? Holy shit. They also have some variants to some other maps. Like they have Mad Cow, which is like neat. Yeah, there's that. They also have a map called Drive Through, which reminds me a bit of I think there's a Black Ops One map that was reimagined in Cold War that it remind that I'm reminded of. All the information in the world can help like I get that kill. Holy shit. Yeah, the amount of like map remakes, I'm sorry. This season is filler. This season six is coming up is just straight up filler. They have some extra stuff that's supposed to be like scary and spooky with Warzone. I might give Warzone a try. I don't wanna be like a sweat. I just want one win every like 50 games would be nice because i don't play i mean i don't want to like rat for it either i actually want to like earn that shit maybe i'll give warzone a try i can also see why we're fucking losing because uh my teammate just spawned with two tags basically in his nuts and he said no thanks so overall this season i'm not like looking forward to it a shit ton but i hope i'm kind of proven wrong that at least the season will be nice but this is rabbit head folks get off the ground you little b what? Who the fuck is this guy talking to? It's like, am I still gonna complete the battle pass? Yeah. Do I have any interest in getting, like, the, what is it, the spear? No. I have, like, 
zero wants to get the fucking spear. People have been using that like a lot in uh, YouTube clips and uh, TikTok clips and stuff like that, but I, I haven't felt the want to, to fucking get it. We're also getting some two, two new weapons. We're getting a battle rifle and an LMG, as well as three new skins and, and a, like a, there's a bunch of shit coming out. It comes out in about a week's time. I'll be definitely making a video on the day of the release. We also have some other variety games coming out, like we're gonna have Sparking Zero on the 11th. I'll definitely be making videos on that. We'll have Black Ops 6 and we'll have Sonic Generations coming out on the 25th. And I do want to play one scary game. I want to, I'm deciding between the Until Dawn remake or Silent Hill Part 2. So we'll see which game that I'll play. And if you guys have any preferences, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. But that's going to be it for today's video. I apologize for it being all over the place. I very much am just insanely tired. But like I said, I wanted to make sure I get this out for you guys. I wanted to make sure that I, you know, did my bit, I suppose, and getting daily uploads out. Make sure you guys have something to watch. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a thumbs up in the video. It really helps the channel grow. It also lets me know that you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Dia setting up. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.